Good day to you, no matter where you are in the world. I hope you're having an amazing day today and increasing your success as quickly as humanly possible. My name is Rob Yates, I'm a founder of Tetra Key, and welcome to today's episode of Tetra Key TV. Um, today we want to have a look at a thought of the importance around working fast and slow, what it means and how you need to be doing it to ensure you're going uh, forward successfully um, and have everything in place and reality checked. Uh, today I'm in a friend's house in Sammamish, just outside Seattle in Washington State. Um, uh, whereas usually I'm in shorts and a t-shirt or a short sleeve shirt or certainly a shirt and trousers. Today I'm dressed up nice and warmly because it looks like it's going to snow here this afternoon. So uh, that's quite a difference from my usual home of South Africa. Um, it's been an exciting few days for me. I'm busy working in one of my other businesses, Seattle Adventure Sports. Um, I've been doing that for the past four days, staff development, uh, leadership training, coach development, marketing and sales strategies for the rest of this year going into next. And also, um, this morning I've been working busy on Tetra Key, um, uh, designing some new programs and just re-strategizing um, some of my thought processes around sales. In particular, if you live in the Pacific Northwest of the USA, specifically Seattle, and you are looking for a sales role with uh, Tetra Key, please get in touch with me now. Um, I would like to meet you in the next week and give you the opportunity to tell me why you are the best person in the world ever to go and work with us to enable your own success going forwards as well as working with Tetra Key as one of the world's fastest growing coaching brands at this point in time. So, so get in touch with me, leave a message on here, I'll give you my personal, personal contact details and, and let's have a coffee next week and see how that gets, goes forwards. And if you know of anybody in Seattle who may well be interested, we want to talk to you. Um, brilliant opportunity is coming up and this could be your opportunity to make a massive difference for yourself. Um, we're not interested in qualifications um, or experience. We're quite interested in the right person who we can work with who is tenacious enough to take this forwards at speed. And that's interesting because, because that takes us forward into, into today's topic of conversation, um, the, the concept of working fast and slow. And, and the reason why I've put it up is because I'm bumping into all sorts of clients, people, people I'm having meetings with at this point in time, who, um, who are, are want, wanting their success in a disproportionately fast period of time. And so... Let's go and think how, how these percentages play out. I mean, how many people really do earn millions um, from a, a zero starting point to uh, millions um, in just a year fast? The answer is almost none. So, so the concept of working fast and slow means we need to work fast in a slower time frame. So we need to work fast all day, every day. We need to work hard. We need to work long. We need to work smart. Um, we need to future pace our work so we ensure we're on the right track towards success. Um, but also we have to recognize that the gains that we're going to get are going to take time. They're going to take time to achieve the, the big things that we want to go out there and get. Um, and we have to find ways of... Uh, rewarding ourselves along the way with celebrating milestones, but maybe not rewarding ourselves in in the ways that everybody rewards themselves. Um, and certainly, if we're rewarding ourselves financially, we're probably depriving the business of much needed cash to to get it going forwards. So here's what I'd, I'd like you to think about: is is, is what is it that you want and where do you want to be in five years' time? 
And I'd like you to think that as a slow time frame. I mean, I'd, uh, if we were to talk honestly about this, we'd say a slow time frame actually is 10 to 15 years time. But let's just go and pick five for, for this point. Where, where, where do you want to be? What do you want to have achieved? How do you want the world to look, feel and measure in, in that time frame? And what actions are you taking now quickly today towards that slow time frame, that longer time frame? What action are you going to take tomorrow? And, and here's the thing. If you were to take an action every day, to, um, which all compounds and adds on to the previous one going forwards, you'd achieve 365 actions in the next year. You compound that going forwards even, even further, and, and you'd end up at almost 1,700 over five years. Fast steps towards a slower timeline. You could equally say that the concept of working fast and slow needs to happen as you're going because not only do you need to work fast, but you have to be able to slow your mind down to keep checking um, and thinking about what am I doing, why am I doing it, and what value is it adding to my end in mind. Um, in other words, you may well recall, re have heard about uh, reflection, uh, and reflecting on a, a daily basis is a really, really um, useful process in terms of learning, growing, and going forward. Reflecting on a weekly basis is very important, and you'd call that reflecting on action. But if we're going quick, maybe we need to go and uh, take the strategy of reflecting in action. That's the, the thought within the moment that you have with regards to what am I doing now, why am I doing it, and how is it adding to me, or is it detracting to me, almost like a stop-start sort of um, thought, a am I doing the right thing now, should I stop or should I carry on? And so practicing your reflecting in action, holding your end in mind, reflecting in the action we're doing now, and choosing whether to continue or stop, would be something that we could all benefit from. For instance, um, you could think about the midweek going for a drink with friends, where we go for a drink and it starts to look like it's going to turn into many drinks. For many people, they will carry on with many drinks because they just think slow. And they don't realize that the many drinks has led to a detriment f for tomorrow until it actually has um, led to a detriment for tomorrow. Whereas somebody who's reflecting in action uh, and thinking fast and slow, because that's what's happening then, will be reflecting upon that and will be looking at that carry on or stop mechanism about how is this adding or detracting to my day, to my tomorrow, to my week, so on and so forth, and making those choices at every possible opportunity, as opposed to just going with the flow because that's what everybody else is doing. And you have to remember if you follow on the actions of the majority who often don't think fast or slow they just don't think they just carry on going you will end up with what a vast ma majority of people have um, and most people like to to whine about why they haven't achieved things and the the, rea the reason for that is they're not thinking they're not just thinking fast they're not just thinking slow they're just not thinking in general so my my challenge for you for the next 24 hours is in whatever you're doing Think in the moment about how this is adding or detracting from your end in mind. And then change what it is you're doing to ensure that it's always adding towards your end in mind as opposed to detracting. Um, if you haven't got your end in mind worked out yet, well, I guess that's the starting point for you now. So go and spend the next 20 minutes working out how do I want five years time to look, feel and measure. And therefore, you've got something to work with and work against when you're thinking about your actions in the action. So that's it from me today. Thinking fast and slow, reflecting in action. Um, go and play with that concept. And it's just started snowing here outside in Seattle. So I'm going to go and play. Have a great day further. If that's bedtime for you, go sleep well. And if you're like me, who it's 12 o'clock, I think, um, I've got a great day ahead. I'm going to go and play in the snow and do some work for this business for the rest of the day. Cool. Stay well.